Hello all, my name is Sharad and in this video we are going to learn how to install Linux operating system in a remote machine. So you can do the installation without leaving your desk and uh, you just sit on your chair and you can do the installation in a remote machine with the help of Telnet. Uh, I have already created the video on the, with, with the same kind of scenario but here uh, in that video I'm, I was using the VNC virtual network connection okay and uh, in this video we will do this uh, installation with the help of telnet in a remote machine so i will show you this practical in the virtual box and uh, you can do the same steps in a physical machine as well so first i will create the new virtual box template sent to us 6.5 and I'm giving its name as a CentOS 6.5 hyphen talent so that I it is easily e it is easy to recognize uh, this uh, virtual machine I have done with the I have installed with the help of talent and uh, okay create and I'm creating the disk dynamically allocated okay 8 GB by default okay uh, let's customize little bit 7 GB now it is done and uh, you can see here we have a network and it is uh, adapter 1 and it is for NAT I do not require the NAT so because I'm using the virtual box I will change it into some I will change it to the host only adapter and it has taken the VBOX NAT0 as uh, its uh, network virtual network adapter okay and click on advanced if you are using the virtual box in the physical machine you do not require to do all this stuff if you are using any virtualization software like uh, virtual box or the VMware in that scenario you have to uh, uh, find the pro misses uh, sorry I, uh, I think there is a problem in the pronunciation <laughs> promiscuous uh, mode okay kindly forgive me for that uh, allow all and you have to do the allow all so that everyone can uh, able to communicate and click ok now uh, this is connected to the vbox net 0 network and uh, this is the eth 0 adapter actually and adapter 1 uh, it is labeled as adapter 1 in the virtual box ok i will show something why the IP address of my host machine which I have received from the virtual box that is vbox net 0 that is the same network vbox net 0 and this is the IP of my Linux Mint machine this is the host machine which is uh, I am using right now yeah this one okay and 192.168.56.1 the C class of IP address and this is the subnet 255.255.255.0 okay 192.168.56.1 so we will select the IP means uh, when we are going to install the Linux OS in a remote machine we will uh, select the IP address from the this same subnet okay IP subnet now in the virtual box I am attaching the ISO file which I have this is 6.5 okay and uh, let's start the practical click on the start and press tab I think I should maximize this and make it as a scale mode just give me a few seconds to set up I hope it is visible all right yes uh, after pressing the tab key give a space write down Linux text talent and I will take the IP address from the same subnet IP subnet that was 192 192.168.56.1 it was my host machine IP 
in the remote machine IP you have to give it from the same subnet 56.100 and give the net mask net mask the same sub uh, net mask 255.255.255.0 press enter okay hardware is initializing waiting for network manager to configure ETH 0 ok waiting for telnet connection now you got this message stating that that uh, waiting for telnet connection so now we will open the terminal ok let it be open I will open the terminal and write down the IP address which I have assigned temporarily into the remote machine that was 192.168.56.0 100 okay enter yes we got the screen of installation skipping I do not want to check this media okay now got okay English US key initializing okay now select your time zone your country time zone I will select India because I am in India Asia Kolkata this is ok, okay. and now give the root password ok and uh, through this uh, you can create the partition but uh, this is the practical just I am showing the practical I want to wrap up this thing immediately it means in a within a short time so I will select by default the replace existing Linux system and here you have a disk here and now click OK oh sorry I think uh, by default uh, it happened like that uh, by default uh, this asterisk was gone I select. so that is the reason I got this message no worry and click OK, OK now right changes to disk so partitioning is your choice uh, when you get that message uh, when you sorry when you get that screen do the partitioning so it is just uh, the video is only for how you can do installation in remote machine with the help of telnet uh, I hope you know how to do partition Uh, it will take some time uh, the main purpose of this video was uh, to show you how to do uh, installation the Linux installation in the remote machine so we are finishing this video and it will take time ok uh, is it going ok let's wait uh, let's wait uh, because if you are doing this practical in the virtual box so you have to remove the ISO file as well so uh, I will I will show you that just hang on mm, 205 this is a minimal uh, ISO file means minimal uh, operating system of the central 6.5 distro so it will hardly take a few minutes and uh, 168 205 ok out of 170 out of 205 we got 170 175 now <coughs> you can do this practical within your uh, private network and um, in the remote uh, like the if you have a public IP don't do because it is talent is in insecure and uh, we generally do not advise to use the talent if it is within your uh, private network it is good and uh, in the even in the if you if you're trying to do in the live server with the public IP address um, 
there may be a case uh, the bandwidth is slow your uh, home bandwidth or your company bandwidth gets slow there might be some choke in the network is there any latency there are a lot of issues if everything is good you can go for it and if you think the network is secure you can install it in the public ip as well but we generally recommend it we generally recommend this uh, process in the private network so just uh, it is a very cool method to just sit on your uh, desk and uh, do not leave uh, without uh, going in front of the server or the pc you can do the installation remotely now when it get finished it will ask for the reboot but in the virtual if in the physical machine after when it goes for reboot the cd and the dvd rom nowadays the cd and the dvd rom comes out automatically means they eject out automatically and uh, in the virtual box it will not do i think so let's check if it it will do it's good otherwise we have to remove it or in case in the server and the server which in the pc or server in which you are working so you have to take out the cd and the dvd or either do not go for the for the installation process i will show you why i'm telling <coughs> the installation will get finished 100% packages we are waiting to get the reboot option it is taking a lot of time now come on yep installing bootloader okay and uh, yeah we got it congratulations you too your installation is complete okay fine we are going for reboot so what will happen for example in the in the if you have a physical machine or if you are doing this practically in the virtual box or the vm where what happen if uh, the your virtualization software is not able to <coughs> unmount the iso file or the cd or dvd so it will goes again to the next screen same installation screen but uh, or in the physical server if you have a physical server it will uh, if the cd and dvd if the, the dvd again go back uh, into the means if it goes back and the system restart it will go for the next screen of the installation so anyhow don't be lazy you have to go at least but most of the time you have saved right or ask somebody else if you are so much lazy to ask somebody else to take out the cd or dvd okay it is done now actually and uh, okay that is the screen we are getting running in a gonna okay no problem at all yes we know it is already done so we will uh, power down it okay now go to the storage it is completed now start boot the we got it right so there is no issues Uh, every every files are copied properly and it's uh, it gives us the congratulation at the end also it asks for the reboot so sandos uh, 6.5 rocks right now okay we got it right root and the password which you have given Yes, complete it now. This is your six point five and the architecture. Yeah, x eighty six sixty four. That is sixty four bit. 
okay thank you very much for watching this video enjoy the remote installation thank you very much if you like if you want to know how we did the vnc with the help of vnc the remote installation check my channel click on it okay if you like it just uh, and you can subscribe as well okay thank you very much i will upload some new videos thank you